friends and welcome back to my channel. It has been a few weeks unintentionally, but I am back decorating my powder room with you today. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes the smaller spaces are the most difficult to decorate. So I'm going to take you along this journey, but we're going to start with the easy part, which was decorating around my sink. So um, I have this tray that I normally keep here. I got that from Grove and then a little hand soap from, where did I get that from? TJ Maxx, Home Goods, one of those. I have some of these, um, what are these called? I'm sucking at this voiceover right now. What is this called? Pompous grass, there we go. Kind of, pompous grass slash wheat, whatever. In this vase from Target. And then my hand towels are all from years before. I think these that I'm working with now are from Joann's. And that Hello Pumpkin one, it looks like it probably is one that came from Kirkland's. I do have a item, what is that? A wallflower plug-in that's pumpkin themed, but I gotta find them. They're around here somewhere. So remember, if you watched my entryway video, you saw that I said that I was gonna find a place for that rug, I did. I'm gonna put it here. Now I'm showing you this here because this is what my son did. He felt like he had to grab one of these towels, even though they're for decoration. So. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with those towels now. I got these from Hearth and Hand. They're actually dish towels, but I don't wash dishes with a dish towel. I use a sponge. So I saw those colors and I was like, I know exactly where that's gonna go. It's gonna go in this ba basket, which is also from Hearth and Hand. there are ways to actually roll these type of towels and make them nice and tight together. Um, your girl wasn't doing all that today. I was so annoyed with this whole process today. You have no idea, but I'm here to get the content out here. So I'm going to show you the process, the trial and error of how I decorated these shelves. You guys, it can be so frustrating, but this is part of the process so I don't want anybody to ever feel like oh it's just so easy you just put it up there and it's done no it's a put it up take it down put it up take it down put it up again and take it down again so this was a long process Sometimes when a space isn't coming together, just move on to something else. So that's what I decided to do. I'm replacing my eucalyptus print with this one right here. Now I know it doesn't look like it's centered, but trust me it is. Then I decided to come back over to my shelves and give it one more shot. By the way, I don't know if you can tell, but it is so much easier to put things up than to take things down from that top shelf. Um, typically, I will just get on a step stool, but then the way that, you know, I have the camera, it's a small space. I didn't want to just be showing you my butt the whole time. You didn't want to see that. I didn't want you to see that. So here we are. I really am just trying to make things that I already have work and they're not working. And yeah. If you want to see, matter of fact, I will link them below, but I've shared my bathroom decorated for the past couple of years on my blog. So I'll share that in case you want to look for some inspiration other than what I'm showing you today.
this point, I'm kind of over it. I don't put my toilet paper up here, but I was like, you know what, I'm tired. I'm gonna come back to this tomorrow and see what I can think about doing to make this come together. But this was day one. Fast forward to the next day, I stopped by Michael's because I had a couple of pieces that they had in mind for what I could use on these shelves. And I saw this and I love the colors. You could put little sprigs in there, but I'm not going to. But I thought that this would be just really cute because it has those same colors as those washcloths from Hearth and Hand. And then when I saw this, I was like, this would be great too. And I like the colors. And honestly, it's like having a floral vase without having to add any florals. I love it. When I decorate or when I'm purchasing to decorate a specific space, I try to think about other uses. So there were these canisters that I saw at Michael's the other, the last time that I was in there and they were gray with these bamboo wood tops. But then I was like, where else would I use them? So when I saw these, I thought that was perfect because these can also be used in the kitchen. It can be used in my other bathroom. It could be used on my dining room shelves. I just thought that this would be really good. And the cream color, because they're not stark white, I think works well. Last thing I picked up was from Target. I actually returned the wheat uh, arrangement that was in the same kind of vase. I wasn't loving it. I didn't love it when I bought it. I kind of just was looking for filler stuff, which is not a good reason to buy things. But so I replaced that one and exchanged it for this. And I like this better. Now I'm just gonna decorate these shelves and I didn't even like put my my camera on a tripod. I'm just holding it and decorating because I want these shelves to be done. But I really do think that this works out well. I'm glad that I did decide to go and get those other items. Sometimes you just have to switch things up. And apparently I've gotten rid of a lot of my decor so that's probably why I couldn't find anything. I'm not so much into all the signs anymore. And as much as I love pumpkins, I don't really like a lot of pumpkins anymore. What is going on with me? If you know me, you know that's crazy talk. But I really am not into the pumpkins as much anymore. But I really do like how everything has turned out. So just keep on watching. There, that's better. I love it so much. And yes, I am going to take the tags off the t off that thing on the bottom. I promise. <laughs> um, now I'm going to actually put what I normally put on top of my toilet is this basket that I got from Target a couple of years ago, probably. And that's where my toilet paper goes. It doesn't go on top. It goes right here. And I just switched out the little um, arrangement that was on my soap dish. And now we're done. So thank you so much for decorating with me today. I hope you got some inspiration and I cannot wait to 
decorate some more. I do have some more spaces to share with you. So please make sure you're subscribed, like, comment, you know, all the good things. Share it with a friend and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. to be somewhere else to set me free. I don't know what to do now. Need to figure it out, but I don't know how. I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I